Uh, right now, shifting our focus, another big development is something that we are learning of on the cloud seeding. A Cessna aircraft has now reached Meerut from Kanpur for the operations and according to sources, the cloud seeding in the region is almost certain to take place today. So today is the day when Delhi NCR is going to be hopefully seeing uh, rainfall, artificially induced rainfall the, because of the cloud seeding, the process of which is currently underway as we are now learning of a Cessna aircraft that has arrived in Meerut. These are the visuals of the aircraft. The aircraft has come from Kanpur. Remember, IIT Kanpur uh, has been assisting uh, uh, the Delhi government for this cloud seeding exercise. And for that cloud seeding, this Cessna aircraft is required. And uh, the Met Department has already given a go-ahead uh, so that uh, the cloud cover is ample for that precipitation to take place. And then the artificial rain will be induced with the help of the Cessna aircraft, which right now we are breaking has reached Meerat. It has arrived from Kanpur. Remember, this entire exercise is much talked about. Uh, it's a big breakthrough for the Delhi government as well. Cloud seeding is something that they have been talking about every year. At the onset of winters, the Delhi NCR region sees uh, the air quality dipping to the hazardous uh, category. And things are no different this year around. Diwali is gone, but uh, the air quality remains in the poor to very poor category. And that's why it has become an absolute necessity to induce rains artificially. The aircraft in this case injects silver iodide and other substances into the atmosphere. The chemical then mimics press, uh, particles that will serve as surfaces for condensation. And once the condensation creates water droplets, it's when it rains artificially, though. My colleague uh, Anshul Singh is now joining us on the broadcast. Anshul, this is a big breakthrough. And now we are learning that the Cessna aircraft that will be responsible for inducing the rain artificially has, in fact, arrived in Meerut. Uh, well, yes, the aircraft was stationed in Kanpur initially. It, ha it had managed to take off from Kanpur after the visibility in that entire airstrip. Uh, had increased. Now the aircraft has uh, reached near Meerut. Now uh, the scientific in, uh, investigation is being done at this point in time to find out as to what are the exact locations where there is ample amount of cloud covering uh, that is already present. Uh, what are the clouds in which the moisture level is at a uh, is at a level in which cloud seeding could happen? Because remember, to seed any cloud, uh, the moisture levels should be above 15 uh, 15 percent, uh, and uh, and it is post that that. Uh, this entire process of cloud seeding could happen. Now, once the Cessna aircraft uh, takes off from there and gets inside the air airspace of the national capital, uh, then uh, it will be decided as to what are the exact patches of clouds that need seeding at this point in time. Because uh, even as we are speaking, there are western disturbances that have already engulfed the entire national capital. The clouds have already uh, engulfed the entire area of national capital. So uh, the aircraft will have to select the exact location and the exact clouds that needs to be seeded through which this rainfall uh, could happen. Generally, uh, if there is a good amount of moisture in the uh, in the clouds, then it could take approximately 30 minutes for uh, the cloud seedings to show its work and then eventually rainfall to happen. But if at all the content is a, a little bit less, then it could uh, take somewhere around two to two and a half hours as well. So once the Cessna aircraft hits the airspace of the national capital, then things would eventually clear up as to what are the locations on which this cloud seeding could happen and uh, in how much quantity uh, will rain actually happen out here in the national capital. The artificial rains uh, will happen. That is something uh, that the government and the administration will have to decide. Right. Uh, Anshul, what is the time frame that uh, one is looking at for this entire exercise to begin? Uh, well, if you look at the equipments that are being used, specifically the Cessna uh, aircraft that is being uh, used, it is not capable of uh, flying post sunset. Okay. Uh, so th till the time there is sun, uh, there, there is sun uh, out here in the national capital, approximately till 5.36 p.m., uh, it is absolutely safe. Uh, for the flight to take its flight and then eventually do this entire procedure of cloud seeding. But if at all the sun sets, uh, then this entire procedure could be uh, uh, could be postponed for tomorrow, depending yet again on the uh, on atmospheric uh, atmospherical conditions and the cloud uh, coverage that has happened out here in the national capital.
So as per that, Anshul, we have about three hours remaining for the Cessna aircraft to be, uh, you know, in air and to be airbound. And then the process is going to be beginning. Any officials that you've managed to uh, speak to during the course of the day, how are they lauding this entire initiative and effort, not just by IIT Kanpur, together with the Delhi government, but also in assistance with the Med Department? All of this put together uh, is responsible for such a thing to take place now, finally, in the national capital. The national capital needs this badly considering the air quality is only going down. Uh, well, definitely, this is uh, this is an effort that has been put uh, pu put up by multiple agencies out here uh, in the in the national capital. As you mentioned, the IIT Kanpur is responsible for the entire research and to figure out the SOPs that needs to be followed for the process of cloud seeding because this is for the first time that something like this, an experiment like this, is happening uh, in India. Apart from that, the IMD, the job of the IMD, and they have been tasked to inform. Uh, inform the other agencies as to what are the days on which this cloud seeding could happen because there needs to be a good cloud cover uh, above the area in which this cloud seeding is supposed to happen. The cloud cover should have ample amount of moisture as well. So all this is with the IMD and the IMD will have to uh, look into this and eventually predict as to what are the steps that could be taken uh, that that could be uh, taken so that this cloud seeding uh, uh, so that the cloud seeding could happen successfully apart from this there is the delhi administration uh, that is also keeping a very close eye on this because they will have to decide uh, once the aircraft is in the air as to what are the locations on which they can actually go ahead and carry out this procedure of cloud seeding so yes there are this is a multi pronged efforts that are being put okay. in to make sure that uh, if at all rainfall happens, uh, the artificial rain happens, it could actually bring some sort of a temporary relief to the people of Delhi who, who have been ailing under this very, very polluted air for the last two weeks at least. Right, absolutely. Anshul, do stay on with us. We also have Shishi Chaudhary joining us on the broadcast. Shishi, would want to understand from you the process. How does cloud seeding really work? Once the Cessna aircraft is airborne and it injects these particles into the atmosphere, the condensation begins, how soon... Can the rainfall be expected? Yes. Uh, so, uh, see, uh, once the Cessna aircraft is in the air and the location is decided, so initially, as per the plan, uh, there was a, a particular site in Northwest Delhi which was selected. See, because uh, this requires a lot of security permissions. Mm. So, Northwest Delhi was uh, selected initially. So, once the aircraft is there and the uh, weather conditions are favorable, uh, we need to understand that even when uh, there is cloud cover, the uh, scientists have to take into consideration the wind factor, the temperature factor, the size of the clouds to initially start the process. And uh, see, and when the, uh, the particles are sprayed onto the clouds, uh, these clouds also need to have sufficient amount of moisture in them. We need to understand that the artificial rain cannot be induced on its own. There has to be a certain amount of moisture in the clouds. And then artificial rain can probably increase the amount, uh, the, you know, the size of the droplets so that they fall. And uh, scientists that we from IIT Kanpur who are involved in the project had told us earlier as well that uh, there are a lot of considerations considering the amount of rain that can actually fall be in very trace amount. It could be even 2 uh, mm or 3 mm. And uh, uh, that is actually not enough to clear the air quality. So uh, this depends on so many factors. And that is why we are again and again highlighting that it's on an experimental basis. Uh, and there are a lot of considerations to be involved before the uh, experiment can actually be carried out. And we are keeping a close tap. As of now, uh, uh, the uh, Cessna aircraft, which had actually taken off from uh, Kanpur, uh, it's also important to understand that the weather conditions outside Delhi are not very favorable. There are parts uh, in the neighboring areas which are receiving rain. Uh, so that could also hinder uh, the operations. We'll have to really see how it goes. Um, uh, yes. And as of now, the air quality in the national capital also remains in a very poor category. Remember, this experiment is to clear the air pollution level. So if the artificial rain happens and we are not able to see any change in the amount in the air quality, so that could also uh, you know, lead to questions. Right, absolutely. Thank you so much for that, Trishti. I request you to stay on with us. Uh, let's uh, explain to our viewers how does this cloud seeding process, how does it actually work? How does the artificial rain get induced? Now, this is a weather modification technique that enhances precipitation by dispersing chemicals like silver iodide potassium, iodine or dry ice into the clouds which serve as nuclei for water droplet formation. Chemicals then mimic the particles that serve as surfaces for condensation. 
This process facilitates the formation of ice crystals in the clouds, which can lead to artificial rain, which is seen as a potential solution to combat severe air pollution that Delhi and NCR are visiting correct, uh, currently.